Sound of Freedom is shocking Hollywood right now. And why Hollywood elites don't want you to watch Sound of Freedom? These films are created out of moral panics, they're created out of bogus statistics, they're created out of fear, and with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings. If you don't cry after watching the movie, then you should see a psychiatrist. I won't lie to you. By the end of this film, it made me hate society even more than I already do. Why are you doing it? Because God's children are not for sale. What's the story? In Sound of Freedom, Tim Ballard is Homeland Security, tirelessly dedicated to apprehending child predators and ensuring they face the consequences of their heinous crimes. During a high-stakes operation, Ballard successfully rescues a young boy from the human traffickers reuniting him with his grateful father, Checo. However, tragedy strikes as Checo reveals that his daughter, Rocio, remains missing, abducted alongside her brother. Ballard embarks on an urgent and essential mission to locate the missing girl, sparing no expense along the way. The Characters Jim K. Wiesel is absolutely extraordinary in this film. I mean, he's beyond perfect. From the very first moment I laid eyes on him in frequency, I was utterly mesmerized. There's just something about him, you know. His face exudes kindness in the most profound way. And those eyes, wow, they are filled with such deep pain. Yet he manages to conceal it so well. It's as if he's constantly on the verge of breaking down and shedding tears, but he's somehow able to keep that switch flipped. It's incredibly relatable for all of us in the audience, because let's be honest, we all have moments like that. Jim K. Beasel truly captures the essence of being human, and I couldn't be more in awe of him. Now I want to talk about the most important topic in this video. Why Hollywood elites don't you watch The Sound of Freedom? But before that, I have a request. I wish with all my heart that you subscribe to the channel. We get tired of writing scripts and editing videos, but we do not get views. But I will continue to download videos because I love what I do. But if you subscribe to my channel, I will be pleased. Why Hollywood Delights don't want you to watch Sound of Freedom. While it is true that there are individuals who oppose the Sound of Freedom, I respectfully disagree with their stance. Let me present the perspective of those fighting against the Sound of Freedom, and then offer an exemplary response. And the Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue of sex trafficking. Uh, but that theme, it, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, tell us how those two things work together. <laughs> sure, and the most durable and the most believable conspiracy most theories are not entirely false. There's something in them that is true and the rest of it is false, but the believers point to the one true thing and they say, oh, you don't believe that this particular thing is true. In terms of child trafficking, we know trafficking is real. We know it has real victims. No one is denying that. But these films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites and only people like Tim Ballard and only people like Jim Caviezel oh and by extension, only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. So there's a very participatory element. You're not just going to see a movie, you're just killing two hours on a hot day. You are helping bring down these, these pedophile rings and save children. Now, it's not true. This story should be personal to everyone if you have a kid or not. Whether we are aware of it or not, child abuse occurs constantly all around us in every country, every state, every city, and in the majority of towns non-stop and annoying, but also something that should motivate you to take action and should make you want to do something. So you watch a movie about this that isn't specifically about that, but is all about human trafficking, especially child trafficking, based on a true story, and hopes that those kids are in better situations now. Not to give anything away, but again, it is based on a true story. So I think that some people do not want this movie to spread in order not to harm their works. And I think that these people have a suitable and high in the USA. 
and if the movie spread, it will harm their work. So watch the movie and share it, and let everyone know about it. Is it any week? 1. Storytelling On the storytelling side of things, it doesn't quite capture the breathtaking cadence and pacing that I expected. It presents the events in a rather matter-of-fact way, simply stating what happened without much finesse. The film's duration of 2 hours and 10 minutes, as I couldn't help but feel its length. Yet, when it comes to the execution of certain sting operations or rescues, there is a lack of skill in building up tension and setting the stage for a gratifying payoff. However, it falls short of truly captivating the audience with a seamless flow of storytelling that keeps us on the edge of our seats. The anticipation, the doubts, the risks, it's missing that sense of impending danger and exhilaration that would have elevated it to greatness. I think that the most beautiful part when watching a movie is discussing the topic with other people, so tell me what you think about Sound of Freedom. What you like about the movie, what you hate about the movie, and how much you give the film out of 10. I will tell you my rate at the end of the video. Is it any good? 1. Low budget and high quality. I am absolutely blown away by this movie. From start to finish, it is pure quality. What's even more incredible is that they achieved all of this on a lower budget. I mean, they could have easily doubled or tripled the budget, and it would still be believable. With a minuscule budget of around 14 to 15 million dollars, the amount of creativity and innovation they showed is mind-blowing. 2. You will get a lot of emotions. Wow! This movie is absolutely awe-inspiring. It has an incredibly profound impact on the viewer due to its powerful subject matter. It presents a bold and unflinching examination of the horrifying world of child trafficking. Through its raw portrayal, we witness the harrowing reality of how children are taken, the valiant efforts to rescue them, and the successful apprehension of those involved in these heinous activities. This film offers a rare glimpse into the dark underbelly of our society, leaving viewers in absolute awe and with their eyes opened wide. What is my rate? This movie is wonderful from all sides, but it has some flaws, and that doesn't prevent you from watching it because it's great. So my rating for the movie is 8 out of 10. Do not forget to tell me your rating out of 10. And also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.